I'm Petra Lewis. I'm the Vice Chair for Education at Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Centre and I'm a Professor of Radiology and OBGYN at Geisel Medical School. I grew up in England and I did my initial medical school training in England and I did several years of postgrad training in England um, interspersed with a couple of years of fellowship at Johns Hopkins. And then we saw this area uh, well while we at Hopkins and we fell in love with it. And when my husband got a job here, I joined the radiology residency back in 1994. And I've been here ever since. We love living here. We think it's just the environment, both within the hospital and our colleagues within the hospital, and the environment in New Hampshire um, is just fabulous. So we've never wanted to leave. I've been teaching pretty much since I came out of medical school. Um, and then when I got my post here as um, assistant professor back in 1998, my our then chair, Dr. Spiegel, asked me to take over the student elective. And at that time I said, what students because although I'd been in the department for four years as a resident I hadn't actually met any medical students so uh, we had a lot of work to do to build up that elective um, and that's been the most popular elective at Geisel Medical School um, for quite some time and then I've just gradually drifted into resident education, fellow education and faculty development. I have been posting videos for quite a long time on YouTube. Um, I find, you know, I put a lot of time and effort into developing very high quality lectures and I felt that I wanted to get them out to a larger audience um, than just giving them to, you know, a national meeting or to our local residents. I also use them as um, resources for my flipped classroom quite a bit. And so that's been very successful. What the flipped classroom is, is we split the learning into two different phases. Uh, we have the basic learning of memorization and understanding happening offline. So um, we will assign the learner perhaps a book or a module um, or watch a video for 20 or 30 minutes before they come to the classroom. And in the classroom, we're working on the much more higher learning objectives. So how they apply that knowledge, how they create uh, more information. Radiology is, a, is an incredibly exciting and rapidly advancing um, specialty. And don't fear things like artificial intelligence, but embrace these technological advancements. It's not going to take away from our job, it's going to add to our job in a way that we can perform better and faster. And the other thing I would say to students um, is never forget there's a patient behind every image. It's sometimes a little easy to get a little bit more distance, especially if you're working in one of the areas where you're not meeting patients on a day-to-day -day basis. So you know, every time you look at a CT, think about the patient behind it and that's going to help you interpret it better. When I started back here in 1994, we had one full-time woman in the department and one part-time woman in the department, and that was it. We now have uh, about 40% of our faculty are female at Dartmouth-Hitchcock, which I think is fabulous. Uh, we have a lot of female leadership here. Four out of five of the vice chairs are female, and our chair is female. And this has kind of come through to the national arena. So although women still are a minority, um, in radiology. They are um, very active in academic leadership and there are current or recent leaders of pretty much all of the national radiological um, organizations have been female. Our faculty to resident ratio is very high, it's about two to one, which means that all of our residents get an awful lot of one-on-one -on -one attention from faculty. We have very few fellows here, so um, the residents get to do a lot of procedural um, activities. We have a very um, invested program director and a very invested chair who really does um, believe very strongly in uh, 
um, educating the residents and prioritizing that above the clinical service. And then, you know, it's, it's a fabulous place to live. It's just, there's always something to do outside. Um, it's, you know, I, I can't tell you how nice it is to live in this area and work in this hospital.